hello guys welcome back to this channel in today's video we are going to learn an easy way to find the equivalent resistance or the total resistance of some complex circuits now in the previous videos we discussed how to identify whether any two resistors are either connected in series or in parallel so basically in this video we are going to do a recap of those principles and then we are going to apply them here in this video so in the previous videos we said that when two resistors are connected sequentially and that we have the same current flowing through them then the two resistors are connected in series so their equivalent is giving us r1 plus r2 so basically we are just going to sum them up now we said that for two resistors to be in parallel then it means that we have different currents flowing through them so we have say i1 flowing through r1 and then we have i2 flowing through r2 now one easy way to identify whether any two resistors are connected in parallel is that now let's consider the loop if you go through this loop without passing through any other circuit element except those two resistors then they are connected in parallel so this is an easy way to identify whether any two resistors are connected in parallel now we are going to combine these two principles and we are going to use them in this video so now let's come back to the question we are going to find the equivalent resistance or the total resistance of the circuit below now looking at the circuit it seems very complex but using those two principles we can find the total resistance easily now let's focus on this loop we can go through this loop without passing through any other circuit element except the 12 ohm resistor and the 6 ohm resistor which means that the two resistors are connected in parallel now let's focus on the 20 and the 80 ohm resistors we can as well go through this loop without passing through any other circuit element except the 20 and the 80 ohm resistors so they are also connected in parallel so having this in mind let's find their resultants so let ra be the combined resistance for the two resistors that is the 12 and the 6 ohm now because they are connected in parallel we are going to multiply the two values and divide by their sum so we have 12 times 6 divided by 12 plus 6 now 12 times 6 is 72 and then 12 plus 6 is 18 so we have ra to be 4 ohms now let rb be the combined resistor for these two resistors the 20 and the 80 ohms so we have 20 times 80 divided by 20 plus 80 now 20 times 80 is 1600 and then 20 plus 80 is 100 so that is 16 ohms so we have ra to be 4 ohms we have rb to be 16 ohms so we can redraw the circuit so we have our v here and then we also have 2.5 ohms then we have then we have the combined resistor that is ra 4 ohms then we also have 15 ohms and then we have 60 ohms here and this is 16 ohms that is rb okay now we've been able to reduce the complexity of the circuit now let's consider these two resistors ra and then rb these two resistors are connected in series because if you have a current in this direction the same current is going to flow through the 4 ohm resistor and the 16 ohm resistor which means that they are connected in series so we have the r total to be ra plus rb and let's say this is called rc 
so rc is equal to 4 plus 16 that is 20 ohms now what you are going to do is we are going to clear these two resistors so that we introduce rc which is the combined resistance for the two resistors so we are clearing off rb and then ra so that we have only one resistor so this is rc which is 20 ohms now let's focus on this loop you realize that you can go through this loop without passing through any circuit element except rc and then the 60 ohm so they are connected in parallel so let rd be their combined resistance so because they are connected in parallel we have 60 times 20 divided by 60 plus 20 now 60 times 20 is equal to 1200 and then 60 plus 20 is 80 so when you divide by 80 you have 15 ohms so we have rd to be 15 ohms so now let's clear the 60 ohms and rc and then let's introduce rd which is 15 ohms So after clearing RC and then the 60 ohm, we have RD, which is 15 ohms. Now, this 15 ohm resistor and this 15 ohm resistor are connected in parallel. So they are equivalents. Say RE equals 15 times 15 divided by 15 plus 15. And this is equal to... 7.5 ohms now if this is equal to 7.5 ohms now this 7.5 will be in series with a 2.5 so the equivalent resistance for this circuit is equal to 2.5 plus 7.5 and this is equal to 10 ohms so this is the equivalent resistance for this particular circuit now let's solve the second example. So for the second question, we are as well going to find the equivalent resistance or the total resistance for the circuit below. Now looking at the circuit, we have eight resistors and then we are going to find the equivalent resistance for this circuit. So straight away, we know that the one ohm and the five ohm resistors are connected in series because if you have a current because if you have a current flowing in this direction, the same current is going to flow through the 1 and the 5 ohm resistors. So they are connected in series. So we are just going to add them. So we have 1 plus 5, which is 6 ohms. Now that 6 ohm is in parallel with the 4 ohm resistor. Because if you have 6 ohm here, now when you go through the loop, you pass through only 2 resistors without passing through any circuit elements. So they are connected in parallel. So let's say RA is the combination of 6 and then 4. So that is going to be, we have 4 times 6 divided by 4 plus 6. So this is 24 and then divided by 10. So RA is equal to 2.4 ohms. So let's redraw the circuit. So we have... 10 ohms we have 3 ohms and then we have 1 ohm here and then we have 4 RE which is 2.4 ohms and then we have 6 ohms resistor we have the 12 ohm resistor now let's focus on this loop now we can go through this loop without passing through any circuit element except the 6 ohm resistor 
and the 3 ohm resistor so they are connected in parallel so let's say rb is the combination of 3 and then 6 so because they are connected in parallel we have 3 times 6 and then we have 3 plus 6 now 3 times 6 is 18 and then 3 plus 6 is 9 so rb is equal to 2 ohms now let's focus on this loop ra and then the 12 ohm resistors are connected in parallel so we can as well combine them so let's say the combined resistor is rc so we have rc equals 12 times 2.4 divided by 12 plus 2.4 now 12 times 2.4 is 28.8 and then 12 plus 2.4 is 14.4 so this is 2 ohms so rc is equal to 2 ohms so let's again redraw the circuit so we are going to have 10 ohms and then we have rb that is 2 ohms so we have 2 ohms here and then we have this 1 ohm and then we also have rc which is the combination of 12 and then 2.4 so that is 2 ohms now 1 and 2 are connected in series so we can clear them and then represent them by one resistor so let's clear the 2 and the 1 and let's represent them by one resistor so 1 plus 2 is 3 so we have 3 ohms and that's it now to find RT these two resistors are connected in parallel and they are in series with a 10 ohm resistor so we have RT that is 2 parallel 3 plus 10 now 2 parallel 3 is 2 times 3 divided by 2 plus 3 and then we have plus 10 now 2 times 3 divided by 2 plus 3 is equal to 1.2 ohms and then we have 1.2 plus 10 which is equal to 11.2 ohms so the total resistance for this circuit is 11.2 ohms so that's it for today's video thank you for watching do well to subscribe if you are new here and see you in my next video bye bye